this homeless thing started in 2017. I was in a relationship for seven years. What I was doing was drinking a lot and um, not coming home, um, not paying bills, not being responsible. And enough was enough with her. We decided that uh, maybe I should leave. In the beginning, I was on the trains and um, anywhere I could sleep. And then I ran into somebody on the train and they said maybe I should go to a shelter. So they sent me to Bellevue, then they sent me to Ward's Island, and then they finally sent me to um, 49th Street. I was working the whole time. I was at 49th Street Men's Shelter. The commute was four trains to get to um, work on time at 5.30. James came to Colgate Scaffolding maybe two years ago. He always seemed kind of eager to want to work. James always seemed that way. Saturdays is, is hard to get here at the time that they want me to. So I had to let him know I'm gonna be a little late because of my commute. I'm gonna say James was living in a shelter I found out about a year ago. The owners believe the same way I believe. Everybody deserves, if you can work, you can work for us. It doesn't matter if you're homeless or you're a millionaire. It doesn't matter. And what they did was they changed my time to get to work. You have to produce also. It wasn't just because I'm James Wilson and homeless that they helped me. They seen that I came on time, willing to stay late. I did the extra things that needed to be done. And um, we just clicked. The guys that come here and I say, you're hired, you're passed, they're grateful. And just to have them know that they have something to come back to tomorrow and the next day and the next day, as a human being, they, they, they're gonna need somebody to say, hey, you're back tomorrow, come back tomorrow, let's go, we need you again, you know? To be needed is very important for people. At 49th Street Men's Shelter, they really cared about me and they was interested in me being successful. See, we ain't all just thrown in a shelter at 49th Street. We are individuals. And that was important to me because I always felt like I am an individual and my story is different than others. And they was listening and they helped me. I got my keys. That makes it my own. One thing they told me at 49th Street, it isn't why me, why me. I turned that situation into something healthy. I started thinking healthy, eating healthier, and um, moving forward. I turned a bad situation into a blessing, and they still call me, see how I'm doing, where I'm at, and um, that's nice to hear from them. They help me a lot. The reason I'm supportive of Daytop is because I'm a graduate of Daytop. I graduated in 97. Uh, it helped me where I am today. I've been clean ever since, and I know what it's like, man. I don't know what it's like to be homeless, but I know what it's like to be where James is and where other people are, so given the second chance, it's, it's very easy for me. And it ain't about being happy or sad, it's about just moving forward and just dealing with your day-to-day -day routine.